While it's not a done deal, work continues and it seems a new medical examiner's office and morgue will be built in a Brentwood neighborhood. Here's a map of the Brentwood area just north of Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway. Community leaders are fighting against adding an ME's office to the neighborhood. They're also upset about what's happening to the property a liquor store sits on. The city is paying nearly $2 million to buy the property. We've been following this story from the start when neighbors first complained about the entire project. Now, News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett shows us why the community is not ready to call it quits, even though, Jim, the city's moving on. You know, this is a story that's going to go on for a while. Like you said, even though the city's going on, I'm going to walk you through something here. This building right here, this is a new liquor store that never opened that its city is going to buy. Get this for $1.8 million. But that's all associated with what's going on back here. And I know it's going to be hard to see. Uh, it's hard to see at night here with the time change. But right back in this area here, this is where they're clearing the land to build the new medical examiner's office to build a morgue. And that's what people out in this Brentwood neighborhood are really upset about. But here's what's happening today. Because of this new building here in the city paying for that, they're saying that this is going to become the Brentwood Community Center or a public building. And that's the catch right there that neighbors are upset because it may not be a community center. It may be tied in to the morgue that they never had a report. Lydia Bell has been fighting this issue when it first became known a morgue and a liquor store was moving in. The liquor store is no longer, but what the building will become is still an issue. The city council is deciding if $1.8 million will be spent to buy it. The legislation says it would be for a Brentwood community center or public building. Lydia says it's the public building that's worrisome because part of it could be used for office space for the morgue. Why are you calling it the Brentwood Community Center, but it's a possibility that it won't be Brentwood America? Don't pee on me and tell me it's rain. We are tired of that. And Lydia says they're tired of many things about this entire project. She says a neighborhood bill of rights, which was passed 28 years ago, just wasn't followed. That bill of rights says neighborhoods should be notified of zoning and public projects. Bell says that never happened under Mayor Curry's watch. Now, we have since learned that the Neighborhood Bill of Rights law never made it into city law. So now Mayor Deegan's staff says they're trying to work with the group. Do these people have a legitimate complaint? I believe that we've done our due diligence in terms of, you know, going through and meeting with the community members, offering up opportunities to engage with them. I feel like we've followed, um, you know, what we need to follow through the ordinance code and, and we're going forth. But until the project gets final approval by council, Lydia and her group says they're not giving up. Part of the, the Neighborhood Association, you still feel cheated by this, correct? I wish it was a sm I wish the word was cheated but it's more bamboozled, hoodwinked, robbed, disrespected, and every other violation that you can think of. You know, I got to tell you, the city council is taking this up. They're going to hold a public hearing in committee in two weeks. I'm sure Lydia and other there are going to be speaking out. I also spoke to the Urban League about this today, and I got a statement from them. I just kind of want to go over this a little bit with you. But they did, they are basically saying it's all too late because of the more got here for that to be decided. But they believe that Bill of Rights needs to be changed or, or codified so that people will have a right to speak out in instances like this. For now, we're live at I-95 and Gulf Air. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.